What up, Leo? Lego son. <laughs> I was just climbing up the stairs from down below, you know? Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a new chapter tarot general spread reading. Please keep in mind that not everything I say may resonate and what does not resonate for you may resonate for somebody else. Thank you for those that are returning and for those that are new, stick around. So, you know, I kind of just started, I mean, I've been reading tarot cards probably since I was like 16. But I didn't like actually create a channel until last April. And while I may be somewhat of an expert with the tarot and my psyche, I feel like I still have more to learn about the zodiac signs, like each specifically. So. Uh, my friend gifted me this book for my birthday. It's called, um, ooh, I didn't know they had this in the back. What is this? I'm gonna open that carefully later. Oh, it's a, it's a 18 by 24 inch wall chart. Perfect. All right, it's called In Focus Astrology, Your Personal Guide, Leo. So I'm going to look into Leo. Where's my Leo legacies? Oh, there you are. Okay, so your ruling planet is the sun. You may already know this. The symbol of the lion, I knew this. Genders, masculine, elements, fire, I knew this. Quality is fixed. So this is a masculine fire sign. So these people get jobs done quickly when the need arises. But Leos are also logical and organized. Being a fixed sign, Leos don't chop and change direction and they will do all they can to uphold the status quo. Leos are so capable that, that they are easily irritated by those who don't do things as quickly and efficiently as they themselves do. And they can't understand people who allow opportunities to pass them by. Sometimes, it is early struggles in life that make Leos so ambitious and self-reliant. Many are attracted to glamorous professions such as the airline or entertainment industry, ba banking, publishing, or the travel trade, and they soon become involved in the business or administrative sides of these careers. Many run small businesses of their own because they enjoy running their own show. Leos love music and many play an instrument or sing and dance. And some even take a life on the stage. They aren't phased by being out there in front of an audience. Others spend their day communing with computers and other high tech gadgetry. There are people of this sign who are not glamorous, charismatic or successful in worldly terms. But these people put their considerable energies into ensuring that their children go as far as they possibly can in life. Leos tend to marry and produce a family when they are still young and their children quickly become the light of their lives. These affectionate people make loving partners and wonderful parents because they allow their children to get away with bad behavior. Leos value honesty, decency, loyalty, and generosity. And while some can be arrogant and unpleasant, and most have a good moral compass, Leos may look grand and may want to be in charge and to be treated like royalty. Ooh, king of the jungle. But in reality, they are great big softies and who love to give and receive affection. Under normal circumstances, they are warm-hearted, generous, sociable, and popular but they can be very moody and irritable when under pressure or when feeling unwell. Leos put their moody and irritable, Leos put their heart and soul into whatever they are doing and they can work like demons, 
but they cannot keep up the pace for long and need to stretch out the sofa and rest when fatigue sets in. They also need frequent holidays in order to recharge their batteries. These people always appear confident and they look like true winners, but their confidence can suddenly evaporate, leaving them unsure and unhappy with their efforts. They are extremely sensitive and cannot take a ridicule or even much teasing. Most are good homemakers and great cooks, but they are but they love eating and socially and socializing with others over a nice meal and good glass of wine. Some spend money on luxuries that they can't afford or they spend money on their family when they can't really afford to do so. They love the status and lifestyle that proclaim their successes. Leos are proud and have very high standards in all that they do. And most of them have a great integrity and honesty. Leos can stand on their dignity and be very snobbish. Leo faults are bossiness and short temper and their arrogance can become insufferable. In loving relationships, Leos are loyal and will go the extra mile for their partners. The fixed nature of this sign means they, pre they prefer to stay with the same partner for life, but they can start looking around if the partner doesn't appreciate or love them. They are also able to bear a grudge. Many Leos are good dancers and many worry about their hair, especially, especially Leo men. Makes sense. Lion, king of the jungle, you're worried about your mane, right? And you love to dance. I was killing it on the dance floor recently at a wedding in Cuernavaca, Mexico, town of the spring, AKA Hollywood of Mexico. It's a truly beautiful town. I love there. I love going there. And I think I definitely ate the most that I've ever ate in, in, in a short amount of 48 hours in comparison to the entirety rest of my life. I was only there for a short amount of time, so I had to make sure that I ate everything I could that I don't regularly eat here because things there just don't taste the same as in the U.S. Or things here don't taste just the same as in Mexico. All right, anyways, Let's go ahead and let's jump into your reading. So I learned a lot about you from here. There's more that I can learn, but I don't want to bore you with having to make you hear about yourself. Because <laughs> you are arrogant, confident, self-conceited. Should I compliment your hair? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. Boom. Spirit guys, angels, give me the cards that I need to see for Leo. We have the Eight of Wands. and queen of swords so obviously leo's very masculine energy but i'm picking up a fire sign here as well so it could be leo capricorn or uh aries we also have the knight of wands here so there's a lot of wands so far in your reading Okay, so we have judgment in reverse. We have the chariot right next to that. You can come in.
we have the full and the star in reverse. What's your zodiac sign? Leo. Libra. Libra? Yeah. Swear. I swear. It was your birthday recently? Yeah. When? Was I here? Yeah, it was uh, October 18th. Oh. I don't celebrate my birthday. Oh. All right, so we have the fool and the star in reverse. Now let me pull three more cards and I'll clarify the queen of wands with the queen of swords. See what the judgment's about as well. So Knight of Swords in reverse, the Two of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Ooh. And at the bottom of the deck, your challenge is the Ace of Cups. Leo, Ace of Cups is your challenge. So immediately from the top, your beginning of the reading, you have the Six of Cups. There's definitely a new, uh, a new, a new start, a new beginning in your life. You've been, you've been. It's like you've been hustling, Leo. You've been gaining momentum. You've definitely been shooting for the like the moon. If you land short, you land among the stars type of thing. There's a strong female presence within your reading with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords up at the top. It's almost like. There's two strong feminine females within your life. One you may work with and the other is probably someone you're with as in a partnership. There's an angelic feeling to the queen of swords. It's like, this is the female that holds you humble, keeps you uh, grounded, definitely in humility, being generous with yourself. And the queen of wands is a person that is very assertive uh, very straightforward, blunt, and she guides you maybe in work or in life. This could be a mentor, someone with more wisdom than you. Because you are a Leo and you are of masculine descent, of masculine genetics, you're the type that likes to just march on forward and you want to make sure that you can count victory. You want to you wanna trudge along as much as you can before asking for help, okay? It's like you get to the point where, you know, it's almost like at the tip of the iceberg, right? You're at the top of the mountain uh, hanging off a cliff before you go ahead and ask for help. And this is where the gentle reminder comes in from the divine because they're trying to intervene. There, There's definitely been angelic uh presence and an angelic figure watching over you. There's going to be this huge change here in the near future with the chariot right next to the gender. And then right next to that, we have the fool. It's almost like there's someone in your life that may be uh, living a double life here. Okay. Uh, please take it as it resonates. I let's, let's clarify and try to figure out who this is with the fool. Clarify the fool. Okay, so we have the sun and the nine of cups. So whoever's living a double life is definitely very confident. This could be Aries, I'm hearing Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius. But this is someone that makes you happy. This is someone you may have had a long-term commitment with. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't really see it as them being uh, mischievous cheating or doing anything behind your back type of thing but it's like they're doubling they're living a double life as in that maybe they're confused within their identity they might be putting up this facade like they're strong they're trying to match your energy but deep down inside they're fatigued at the end of the night because ultimately you hold this person up on a pedestal with the star in reverse and you really see them as a star you see them as the person that complements your character in your own play. 
So if you're Shakespeare or you're Romeo, like she's your Juliet, right? And because you are seen as a power couple, as a relationship that is admired by many, you, I would say that she feels the pressure to continue to perform and level up with you on this consistent uh, trajectory, right? So then we have the Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups. Now, in regard to this, we have with the Knight of Wands also here present, there's a lot of overcoming, challenging obstacles in your life or ultimately you are overcoming them. And, you know, there's a lot of messages coming in currently for you. Uh, I can hear like this high vibration, high frequency ringing in my ears. It's like there's a lot of chatter in regard to you and your relationship. You may be someone, you may be someone and in a relationship that may be in a public eye or there's a lot of chatter about your relationship, what may be happening behind the scenes and what people don't know they're making up. And this is ultimately draining again for your significant other because she's a type that's honest, straightforward. And if she doesn't like something that, sh that is being said or heard about her or him, please take it as it resonates, then it takes a lot of willpower to take a step back, take control, temper the emotions and proceed mindfully with a way to respond versus react. Now, let's go ahead and jump more into your reading because I'm also picking up like divorcee vibes, maybe someone that you recently divorced but are, is still like within your life or it's like kept hearing like kept under the wraps, kept hidden. It's not for public knowledge, it's only for within the immediate family. But you know, there's loopholes, there's loopholes within everything. And there is happiness here, you know, in the overall reading here to the right. So let's pull, uh, let's clarify the sun. Clarify the sun for me, please. What's the sun about? Okay, that wanted to come out earlier anyways. Clarify the star. All right, so for the sun, we have strength, the five of cups and the teacher. Ooh, okay. So there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears that have been going into this progression where you're ultimately stepping into a position in your career where you're now the leader. Now you're the teacher, you are the strength, okay? We have the strength card with the teacher paired here together. I mean, this is a very elite uh, coupled, uh, ch like, yeah, coupled spread right here. I mean, this is strength. This is you, Leo, and with the great teacher, or with the teacher, this is definitely uh, something of higher knowledge, higher intellect, uh, the divine intervening. There's a sense of someone scribing a lot of your timeline within your life. And throughout this process, there has been also a lot of deaths, a lot of blood being shed. I'm picking up disease, uh, cancer, health-related reasons. And then for the star, we have the hermit in reverse. So you've been searching for answers into a topic that's of your high interest recently. Uh, you're still searching for these answers. Ultimately, I feel like you will find them because you have the son here and the teacher. So it's like there's definitely a you're going to have to like move mountains to find these answers. But in the end, you will find them type of thing. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to pull one more card for you. Do I? Uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, uh, hold on. Okay, so we have the Empress and the Hanged Man. Okay, boom. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
you have nine major arcana cards, Leo. So nine may be of a significant number for you. Numerology, we have three and seven, that's 10. And then 10, 10, five, 25, seven. So you have a lot of sevens, tens, and fives. Ooh, okay. Uh, so with the Empress, you have Libra energy present and the Hanged Man. There's something big coming in for you here in the near future. Watch out for this. This is definitely going to uh, feel drastic. It's going to be a change that's ultimately going to benefit you, Leo. So have good judgment on this because it's going to come in fast. And I think that's why the cherry is paired with the judgment. Because it's going to take more than just willpower to make a wise decision in the end. Uh, there's definitely going to be some type of intervention within the family to make a decision as as a as a group not as just the hierarchy of the family or the you know the leader of the family this is definitely a group decision so leo if the message resonates leave, leave a comment down below like subscribe when you guys do that it really helps the algorithm of this channel so you can continue to get readings like this and most importantly leo do not forget to live out your best level.